Hi, once upon a time in a kingdom, there lived a very wise fakir. People from all over the kingdom, they used to visit fakir, they used to seek his blessings and he had advice for any problem that people were facing. Soon, the word had reached the king and he too thought of you know, meeting the fakir. So one day, the king had come all the way to visit the fakir and when the king entered, he saw the fakir was sitting in a barren room, nothing in the room and there was a mat, he was just sitting on the mat and leaning onto the wall. So the king bowed to the fakir and said, I am the king of this kingdom. I heard about you that you are a very wise person, very knowledgeable person and you have solution for every problem. But when I have come and seen you, I see there is nothing in this room. You have no belongings. Why are you like this? So the fakir looked at the king and smiled and said, King, you are the king of this entire kingdom. Where are your belongings? The king looked at the fakir and said, What do you mean? My belongings are there outside. I am just a visitor. I just had come as a visitor to see you. Then the fakir smiled and said, Even I am a, a visitor. I had come as a visitor and soon I will be leaving this place. And where are the belongings? And that made the king to think. Friends, don't you think the same thing? We all have come with nothing in this world. We don't belong to this world. Maybe when we have taken birth, so far no doctor is able to tell from where we have come. How does a baby take birth? No one knows. And once we die, where do we go? We have no idea. And that means we don't belong to this world. We come from some unknown place. And we go to some unknown place, destiny which we don't know. And we come with nothing and we all fight for something which is not ours. Maybe for money, for the car, for the property and for that, this we keep on fighting. And at the end, we leave everything here and go as if nothing actually belongs to us. Because we understand we are a mere visitor to this planet. Then you understand that there will be no more fight in this world. There will be no more jealousy, there will be no more hatred, there will be no more selfishness, there will be abundance of love. Just imagine this world thinking that I got a limited time on this planet and whatever I need, God has given us in abundance and we all can share, we all can live happily. So if we know that, how beautiful this world will be. But that is the truth. Having said this, difficult to implement, difficult to follow this practice, but we need to be aware. Many people, when they look at my video, they say, JSMS or whatever you say, all of them are very, very correct, but difficult to implement. Yeah, whatever Krishna, Lord Krishna told in Bhagavad Gita, very difficult to implement. But just because difficult to implement, do we stop reading Bhagavad Gita? Do we stop learning Bhagavad Gita? Because sometime or the other, maybe one little you know, point that we pick up and we are going to implement that in our life. Yes or no? So maybe a time would come in the right time, right moment, we all will implement such kind of things. So keep watching such kind of videos and be in touch with me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would love to share such more wisdom, you know, truths with all of you. And in the process, together we all can grow. This is Jay Sama signing off from Bangalore. Thank you so much. Bye.